Rosie the Riveter is a cultural icon of the United States, representing the American women who worked in factories during World War II, many of whom produced munitions and war supplies. These women sometimes took entirely new jobs, replacing the male workers who were in the military. Rosie the Riveter is commonly used as a symbol of feminism and women's economic power. Although women took on male-dominated trades during World War II, they were expected to return to their everyday housework once the men returned from the war. Government campaigns targeting women were addressed solely at housewives, perhaps because already employed women would move to the higher-paying essential jobs on their own, or perhaps because it was assumed that most would be housewives. In 1942, Pittsburgh artist J. Howard Miller was hired by the Westinghouse Company's War Production Coordinating Committee to create a series of posters for the war effort. One of these posters became the famous We Can Do It image, an image that in later years would also be called Rosie the Riveter, though it was never given this title during the war. 50% of the workforce at Goodyear Aerospace in Akron were women. At the height of production, the Goodyear plant was producing an FG-1 Corsair airplane every eight minutes.